welcome again in previous demonstration you enjoyed still life painting with watercolor now i'm going to demonstrate still life painting with oil pastel color in case of object painting we should give a neat look at our color sheet too on a color sheet we have to look at the environment what kind of environment are we going to use we have to choose one of that sheets which fulfill the criteria because we will have to leave some part of the sheet for the sake of background this is not necessary that we select only that color for sheet which one is in excess this depends on one's choice too in pastel color we have to leave some parts of our used same color sheet without color that's why generally people take similar colored canvas which is in an excess environment so that extra unpainted part can be left in paper sheet looking at the arrangement of the objects we have to put them on the paper sheet in the same manner consider the importance of the objects front face mid face and background we will arrange them in the middle of the sheet we first of all take the major of background and then build other group of object respectively and arrange them on the sheet initially we take a hint of or guess that how would our objects be arranged on the sheet it is important because we are not going to fill whole sheet with objects after re- arranging our object on paper sheet we have to look at the drawing now this is the detailed composition now i start detailed drawing from here first of all we shall start with lantern Observing the object, we start highlighting details by running black pastel in dark tone. By doing this, you can see that eventually the actual drawing of lantern is coming out as well as I am drawing small details of lantern. The dark portion of lantern, that is the depth portions are also taken in our drawing. Now I am going to draw the ink pot. Now the pen with feather is also drawn with the ink pot drawing so that it can be it can be appear as its associated part Now I'm going to draw 
the third object which is a letter pad this object is in rectangular form and the depth of portion is also highlighting by using shading with firm hand pressure the fourth and the last object is a red rose Its drawing is as important as others. The dark portion of the background is also filled by using pastel stick in flat position. Now, for drawing light colored portion, I am taking light pink and using it in the same flat manner as done previously for background. Now, fill sepia color in objects, keeping in mind the environmental shades on them. A part of drawing in which we draw depth portion with black pastel color or dark gray pastel color. This is cerulean blue stick and I'm filling cerulean blue color on the letter pad. Here you can see that how I am using and filling color. Also, I am using white and light colors on to the object. Here you can see that how I am using and filling color. The environmental colors also affects the shade on the objects. That's why I'm filling blue and light pink color on the ink pot. Now fill sepia color in objects, keeping in mind the environmental shades on them. Now for lantern, I'm using black color stick for coloring the depth area. Notice that I'm giving an extra pressure on stick stokes for better results of shading. We use stick stokes in various ways like either by point pressure or by rubbing at required area this because it helps in clear view of drawn objects also we should highlight our background 
in parallel to objects because we can see the actual real scene of objects on sheet. Here you can see that in how many ways I am using this black pastel color. The dark portion of lantern, that is the depth portions are also taken in our drawing. Here you can see that in how many ways I am using this black pastel color and the folds of debris is also creating and using it by me. Now I am using cerulean blue and flash tint color for highlighting the ink pot. Also I am using white color pastel for preparing the label of ink pot. Again using light cerulean blue color I am filling colors on the chimney of lantern also highlighting the dark portion of lantern using this color again. Sometime it is required to cut short the pastel stick so that it is convenient to use it in flat position. The dark portion of the background is also filled by using pastel stick in flat position. Now for drawing light colored portion I am taking light pink and using it in the same flat manner as done previously for background.
Now I am highlighting the lantern. For this I am using light blue color. During the outline work of objects, we should vary the hand pressure place by place. Also, I am using white and light colors on to the object. Also, I am using white and light colors on to the object. Now I am highlighting the letter pad. For this I am using light blue color and the design of papers will be done through white color pastel stick. Light tin color is used for drawing the feather in the ink pot.
for creating the cut set of feather i am using black color and drawing from inside out here for highlighting the feather i use short strokes I'm using light colors on feather. In red rose we can see the shades of red and yellow for this i'm using red color first and then i'm filling yellow color into it For highlighting the dark tones, I'm using the brown color. The darker portion is then filled using light yellow pastel. The leaves are then filled with green color. For showing the depth, I'm using black color too. Here, for highlighting the feather, I use short strokes. I'm using light colors on feather. Now fill sepia color in objects keeping in mind the environmental shades on them Background color is also 
filled with green pastel stick and using it in flat position we can draw the decree also. If the objects if the object is opaque then there is no need to fill two colors. We will fill one color on such area. For shading the objects, we generally use dark gray or black colors. We use this color in curves and thick area of an object in the same manner as was done in previous demonstration. Now, after seeing the environment and other surrounding colors, we will fill respective colors on to the objects.
in a still painting we should always keep the track of effect of surrounding colors on each other uh, it is as important as drawing colors for this purpose we generally use light dark and middle colors respectively in such colors because of non mixing property existing colors are to be taken from surroundings This work is finished with all pastel medium. Thank you.